In this tutorial, we will learn how to deploy a Node.js Express application for free on Versal. To get started, we need to create a hobby account on Versal and connect it to the Git provider where our application is stored. We can connect to any Git provider where our application is hosted, but for this tutorial we will connect to GitHub. Once connected, all our repositories will be displayed and we can push all our code to our Git repository before importing our repository. This is a simple Node.js Express application that we have created in the previous tutorials. Before deploying our application, we need to add a configuration file in our repository to tell the cell which type of application we are deploying. For this, we need to add a file called versal.json in the root directory of our application and add the following content. The config version we are using is 2 and we need to define the source entry file and the type of build we are using. For us, it's Node. Finally, we must indicate the routes. This will ensure that all incoming traffic is directed to the correct folder. Since our server starting file is located in the root of the application, we specify that all traffic should be redirected there. Now we can import our code and do a deployment. We can give any name we want. And since we are deploying a Node.js application, we have to select Other Framework. Versal will detect the framework using our Versal config. If our server starting file is nested inside any folder, we can change our root directory to that path. In our case, it's on the root, so we can leave it default. If we have any specific build commands, we can define them here. In our case, we don't need any builds. Versal will try automatically following commands to install the code. If we have any specific command while installing, we can define it here. Finally, we can add all our environment variables of our application. We can simply copy and paste them here. After updating our environment to prod, we can deploy our application by clicking on the Deploy button. Our application will be deployed and we can access it by clicking on the Visit button. In order to test the functionality of nested routes, we can add a testing route that simply returns a string. To check if our Firebase connection is proper, we can add a new route that pulls the transactions from our Firebase Firestore. This route will take two query parameters. One is from date and the other one is to date. Then we will get the data from Firebase using the method that we created in the previous tutorial by passing our from and to dates and we will simply return that data. It's important to note that the date format is MMDDYYYY. Awesome! Now let's push our changes and Versal should automatically do a new deployment for us. Finally, we need to update our Telegram bot hook to use this endpoint. We can update it using Postman and test our Telegram bot to see if everything is working properly. Awesome! We deployed our Node.js application successfully. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. Wishing you a wonderful day ahead.